Good evening. You're incredibly brave speaking up against Putin and doing so in such a public manner. Uh, do you feel like your safety is at risk as a result? Uh, yeah, uh, it was always dangerous to be an activist in Russia. Like I was doing my protest for three years. I was striking for climate for our future. And now when there is like a military regime in Russia, like military censorship and police starting to like arrest people for nothing, even for single pickets for nothing, they check in your bag, they, they just stopping you and saying like, we want to check you and they want uh, searching you. And now it's like terrible. The situation with human rights in Russia is terrible. They, they torturing people they like arresting people from like peaceful protests and they then tor they they torturing them in in Moscow. Uh, it was never like this in Moscow. Uh, they were doing tortures in like prisons, but never from like uh, arrested people who were just detained. So the situation with human rights and uh, uh, is terrible now in Russia. Yeah, but I would say that, you know, right now it's not the question of safety, it's not the question of fear, because right now it feels like we don't, we just, we don't have anything like to lose. And if we do not speak up right now, if we're just, if we're just silent, then we are a part of this regime, then we support what's happening in Ukraine. And it is not true, absolutely. And I just think that it is our moral obligation to speak up. It's our Indeed. moral obligation. Indeed.